June Fitzharding in Singleton on the 25th of June, 1925. June's great-grandfather, William George Augustus Fitzharding, arrived in Sydney from London with his wife and two children as cabin passengers on board the ship James Patterson in 1838. Grandfather, Craven Hyde Fitzharding was the fifth son of W.G.A. Fitzharding and he was a solicitor in Dubbo. Grandmother, Ada Mariah Smith, was the second wife of Craven Hyde Fitzharding. Alexander Binning Walker was June's grandfather. He was born in Berriman, New South Wales in 1847. In 1870, as Constable Walker in the New South Wales Police Force, he apprehended and shot Thunderbolt, the notorious bushranger of northern New South Wales. He was awarded the Police Medal for Bravery, which is now in the Police Museum in Sydney, and he retired as an Inspector of Police. Emily Susan Hawke, her grandmother, was the second wife of Alexander Binning Walker. They were married in Glen Innes in 1879. Cedric Fitzharding and Gladys Walker were married at St Andrew's Cathedral in 1924. They had three daughters, June, Pat and Rosemary. Cedric was the fourth son of Craven Hyde Fitzharding and after serving in France in World War I, he returned to the Bank of New South Wales when he later became a manager and was in that position until his retirement. June with her mother and sister Pat in Singleton at about 1927. Loved the clothes on the little girls. Rosemary is on the left, Pat is the blonde and June on the right. This was taken during the early 1930s. These outfits were made by June's mother for a children's fancy dress ball, which was a very popular event in the country towns in those days. Pat was Queen of Hearts, Rosemary Bo Peep, and June Old English Lady. On the way to Central Station to catch the train to Moss Vale to start our first term as boarders at Koyong School. belonged to a farmer on the outskirts of Brankston and he occasionally left her with us for the day as the backyard of the Bank of New South Wales had plenty of room. One day when it was raining we thought Dad should go and hold an umbrella to keep her dry but he didn't really agree and we were quite upset. During 1943 the Land Army was short of workers so encouraged various businesses including the Bank of New South Wales to allow staff to take holidays to work on the land. Pat and I with some other bank girls decided that it would give it a go. The reason for the uniform was for recruiting purposes as not enough regular Land Army girls in Sydney at the time. Pat and I were amongst the Land Army girls in a recruiting drive at the Prince Edward Theatre. We were billeted in horse boxes at the Young Showground and each day were taken to an orchard to pick cherries. This was stooking hay, a job as well as picking cherries, quite an art to doing it properly which we didn't always manage. On the 15th of August 1945, everyone went, went to work as usual but not for long as peace was declared and all businesses closed. June with two other girls from Haymarket branch of the Bank of New South Wales went to Martin Place where most of the city workers ended their day. After the wedding ceremony at St Philip's Church, Churchill, Sydney, the 4th of September 1946, the reception was held at the Pickwick Club in Sydney. From the left, June's mother and father Arthur's mother, bride and groom, sister Pat and Brian North, and sister Rosemary and John Rees. 
After the war, Coolangatta in Queensland was becoming a very popular place to honeymoon. The only other place was the Blue Mountains in New South Wales, but at Coolangatta, Greenmount was the main place to stay. June's main claim to fame, with help from Arthur, she produced three beautiful babies. Sandy in 1948, Keith 1950 and Mitt 1952. They all became adults of which to be proud. Pat gave Rosemary a party on her 60th birthday. This is the only photo of the three of us other than my wedding when they were both bridesmaids. Like Arthur, June was a keen golfer. June was very involved in golf at Lane Cove Country Club. These are just a few of the memories of over 20 years. What more can one ask? Four delightful grandchildren, Sandy's two boys and Keith's pigeon pair. This was taken at Grafton in November 2003. Baby Tristan, three months on the left, Jared, eight, and Ethan, five, with their mother, Amanda, and Keith's wife, Jan, in the background. This party was a great surprise, as June thought her two daughters were taking their mother and father out to dinner. She was very surprised to find Matthew came from Perth, Keith and Jan from Grafton, as well as Sandy's husband, Marty, and younger son, Sam, and Keith's son, Christopher. 